Reptilian Exotics here in Columbus, Ohio. We're down here in my primary breeding facility. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Ian, uh, owner of Reptilian Exotics Pet Store and all these awesome animals. Uh, we do a lot of breeding of our own stuff. We produce 90% of our own stock. This is one of my Orange Glow Motley Platinums from this year. He's an awesome little guy. There's his dad right there, right you. His dad come from a import line, Orange Glow. Uh, we do reticulated pythons, ball pythons, boas, blood pythons, Burmese pythons, woma pythons. Not even getting into the lizards just yet, but we, we got like over two dozen species that we're actively breeding or at least working on breeding right now. Here's some of our male breeders for this year. Some awesome genetics. We got a lesser pastel clown. Shut the head on him, that's beautiful. Have a black pastel banana mahogany. Supposedly female maker, banana pied, pastel genetic stripe uh, ghost. This is just a few. Um, we got like 30 some ball pythons. Uh, this is just a few of the males. One of really nice super fires, black eyes. Oh, he's a pain sometimes he does go on hunger strikes ball python thing one of the more complicated species to understand for sure and like i said i deal with like 10 different species of snakes and these are still the most complicated red trans leatherback pretty sure it was an italian leatherback actually and this is a red black trans asian uh morph which is not necessarily meaning the locality is from asia it's just from an asian breeder yeah as that was from an italian breeder this is like one of the most unique looking beardies i've probably ever seen the black on her is just and the reds on these two the camera just does not pick it up females uh, the trans leather back back there just gave us 25 eggs 23 of them were good here's a couple that we have not bred yet hopefully for this upcoming season got a nice citrus uh, hypo citrus hypo and that is actually a tiger stripe citrus blue bar um she's in the shed right now you can't really tell she's usually immaculate looking like awesome it's all blue our blue bar leather back he's pretty cool we actually have a another red black asian import something else pretty cool from the australian stuff that we're working with Woma Python. We have a male as well. We got some nice northern blue tongue skinks. We just fed them. So that, that one's, one's in shed. Yeah. As I said, we got some nice northern blue tongue skinks. Looks like she messed her water up a little bit. This is a hypo sunset. These are my tegus. This is Gandalf. He is an ant from the amethyst line albino for, produced from tropical reptiles in 2019. He's also the dad to our world's first hurricane albino, uh, which is a hybridization percentage cross of uh, him to a pure blue, which she's in here somewhere. She's, I think she's burrowed down. Yeah. I took her hide out, um, so 
for a special project. Yeah, that's coming. Uh, it's being used from another animal right now. But here she is. Now she's cranky when she wakes up. Mystique. It's gonna be nice today. You can see like an old breeding scar there from where yeah. they grabbed the necks. Yeah, she's it's aggressive. Or she's she's cranky. I'm not gonna call her aggressive. She's really blue though. That yeah, you can see awesome. that even under this light that she is. Yeah, that's just a uh, honestly that's just a very low wattage basking. The main basking comes from down there. That's a power sun down there. This is just regular. Yeah, yeah beautiful, beautiful animal. Here's some of her babies over here. Oh, yeah. Check these out. These are the world's first uh, hurricane and hurricane albino. This is one of my holdbacks. It's a dark face. Um, look at the colors on his back. I named him Mr. Skittles because he just reminds me of like you got every color back there. Yeah. The video won't uh, do it justice, sadly. Yeah, here, let's pull him out. Let's bring over the good light. Yeah, just look at them colors. Yeah, there, that's a lot. That's better. the dark face. Yeah. I I pretty much know what the light phase are going to do, but that's why I really wanted to keep the dark face because I don't know what this is going to do. Oh. And what's really cool about these guys is hybridization wise they're blue they have a little bit of chicoan and a little bit of red in and them a hint of red but yeah they're I beautiful i got the exact percentages i don't know it off the top of my head i got it right down in my notes yeah it's also posted if any you know for potential customers that that buy them i got a hold back normal type hurricane that's 100 percent head albino from this, the same clutch here i just i can't find it I got very minimal. One might have gone in. Are there no? I think it might have gone in the tube. There she this is. This is the whole back. Yeah, this is my whole back. Uh, yeah, she's just running around. Hurricane, hurricane blue. It's a real nice pattern. She's also 100% head albino. She's also one of the stock pictures of our Hurricane Blues. Yeah, so this is Hector. Yeah, this is Hector. They do have the prehensile tail. So as I picked him up, I kind of come up underneath and scooped him. He's one of my more laid back uh, Mexican beaded lizards. He's from the Rio Fuerte. If I'm pronouncing that right, I don't know. I don't use Latin terms, but That's these Spanish. guys, there is a few different kinds, and it's the only way to describe them is with the Latin terms. It, that's I, that's Spanish. Whatever it is, <laughs> again, I can barely speak English, so <laughs> yeah. it's my cool Mexican lizard. Yeah. Yeah, see, he's I always hold him like this. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I do hold him freely sometimes but i've taken bites from it i know what it's about so if i take a bite and i you know it, it is devastating it's worst experience in my life but if i'm dumb enough to let them get me again that's on me i don't recommend it yeah <laughs>